Many people use shared channels in Teams to provide access to and interact with specific internal colleagues within one specific channel of a Teams workspace, keeping all other workspace channels hidden for that user. But did you know shared channels can be used to bridge multiple workspaces that you own together? This means one singular channel can be accessible for multiple workspaces, helping to reduce the number of workspaces an individual user must have access to in order to complete their daily tasks or collaborate with other colleagues. Before beginning any workspace build, it's always important to plan it out. Quick note when planning, it is important to remember, a single shared channel can be shared with up to 50 workspaces and 5,000 users maximum at this time. When you're ready, build all of the workspaces that you'd like that shared channel to appear in and then go ahead and add your shared channel to the main workspace. Give that channel a distinct and meaningful name, then add an optional description if you'd like. Lastly, choose Shared from the Channel Type drop-down. Use this checkbox to decide if everyone from the workspace will have access to this shared channel or if you want to pick and choose who has access from the originating workspace. Now select Create. Once the channel is created, you can share it, so hover over that channel and select the ellipsis. Now choose Share Channel and select with a team you own. Then select the new workspace you're sharing the channel into. If you are attempting to share it into an existing team that you do not own, from that share channel dropdown, just select share with a team and add the team owner's name here. Then they can go ahead and add their team to the channel. Just like magic, that single channel can be accessed from multiple Teams workspaces, reducing the need to click around and travel between various workspaces to get work done.